Hey, Kirk Junge here from LearningGolf.tv. Uh, this is part of my series on learning the setup for impact golf swing. Uh, today we're talking about the hand and arm orientation to the club uh, at setup and then at impact. Obviously it should be about the same and that's the whole point of the method is that we're setting up as close as possible to our impact position. So the main idea is going to be simply with the leading hand is putting it in an orientation that's going to square the club face through impact for you. If you played your entire life with a grip that has the hand more on top of the club, then I would continue to do so now. Uh, if you're not sure what you do or you want to try a neutral grip, then what I would have you do is put the hand on the club where the back of the hand is more facing the target. So at setup, and I check mine like this, this is also a good uh, way that you can check to see that you're able to cock the wrist properly. So I'll hold the club like this, and when the back of my hand is flat, I could put a glass of water here. I would also want to see that the leading edge is also flat or horizontal. That would be a neutral grip position. Also, with my lead hand, I'm holding the club less in the fingers uh, than you're taught to do in conventional golf. You're taught to do this. This is a very unstable uh, position. It helps though in conventional golf to help you have more of a chance to square the club and to manipulate the club more. In setup for impact, we do not want to have to manipulate the golf club. We want the club to fit a little bit more across the palm of the hand. And uh, I have in-depth directions on my website, but basically it's, a cl it's closer to the thumb here, the back of the hands to the target. For me, you are able to customize that to fit your needs. Uh, there are details on the website, but basically we want to have this orientation where the club is also pointed underneath the leading arm. So if you look, the butt of the club is pointed out here underneath the arm. And so when I set up, there's going to be some forward shaft lean here like this. And then when I bring the trailing hand in, for me the right hand, I'm going to at the same time I bring that in, I'm also shifting the hips a little bit towards the target. And I'm going to bring it in like that. The hand is already rotated about 40 degrees away from the target. And I keep the back of the hand flat to the arm. And then I slide it in under the grip. It's also going to be a little bit more into the palm of the hand than what you learned in conventional golf. So for most people that try this, at first it feels a little bit funny but when they try to hit some golf shots with it, they're like, wow, I can't believe that works. Uh, but the ball goes straight and uh, it is pretty amazing. So when we have the hand on the club properly, we also have then the trailing arm is on the same plane as the club shaft at setup, as opposed to conventionally where it looks like this. So it's at an angle at impact in conventional golf as I've shown in many many videos here on YouTube uh, and on my website it's simply impact is always like this but they set up here and to get there they have to make this crazy movement uh, which is injuring their backs uh, they've become incredible at it at hitting incredible golf shots uh, but that's through hitting millions of golf shots and uh, if you're like me uh, you don't have time to hit millions of golf balls to try to figure out how to how to hit good golf shots most of the time. So much easier just set up for impact. So we have the leading hand grip and then the trailing hand grip, the orientation, and then we can get in our setup where we're going to choose how much forward bend we want to have from the hips and how much tilt to the side. Uh, it's definitely going to be for most people more tilt away uh, than in conventional golf. So I want you to just play around with the grip and try to get a feel for it. Uh, it's a good idea uh, to make sure that you get the arm orientation correct. For that, you can look in a mirror uh, to check it out. Members of my website can send in videos or pictures of their setup uh, for my analysis. That's part of the inexpensive membership. And for more information, there's going to be a whole series here on learning the setup for impact golf swing. 
uh, covering all aspects here on YouTube in the next weeks. Also below is a link for my free email learning series which has additional information. So please subscribe here on YouTube and like this video. Thank you very much.